Patience and persistent detective work led Henry Hildebrand to a private pilot who knew a road contractor from Tampico who supposedly had pictures of the elusive turtles. Get at the water's edge. One hour after we finished filming, we were surrounded by turtles and had to push the plane to get out of the way and take off. After I missed the third arribada, I came to the conclusion that the turtles arrived during the third quarter of the April moon. The turtles look like blotches of confetti floating in the water. They would begin gathering a few days before the arribada, and they would come out of the water in the morning. And I hadn't expected to see anything quite that dramatic. I was quite sure that it was the Kemp's Ridley. I did ha uh, get a, a carapace of one of the nesting turtles so I could be sure that it was uh, Ridley, that there was no doubt. At a 1961 scientific meeting, Hildebrand presented the discovery to his colleagues. They were quite surprised at such a mass of turtles. I don't think anyone had seen uh, that many before. The dean of turtle biologists, Dr. Archie Carr, came to see the mystery unraveled. He flew over specially from Florida.